Chefalu in the province of Palermo is a combination of splendor, history, and a charm that makes it one of the most beautiful villages in not only Sicily, but also Italy. Chefalu, her beauty and majesty hits you immediately. From the road leading up to the city center, you can make out the cathedral, La Roca, which is the rock fortress, and the crescent-shaped beach. The ancient part of the city is full of quaint cobblestone streets leading to portals, remains from antiquity, shops, restaurants, access to the Tyranian Sea, and plenty of opportunities for photos on every part of this incredibly picturesque town. The beach is quite spectacular and attracts sea and sun lovers from March to even October. From the lower part, you can still make out the fortress walls, which were used since antiquity to protect the inhabitants. As you walk from the beach into the lower part of the town, there are plenty of treasures to take in. Instance, this ancient wash house. The lava stairs take you down to the laundry area so you can get a glimpse at how women wash clothes with the fresh Cefalino River waters. Legend has it, they sang Sicilian songs as they did their laundry. As you head towards the ancient marina, there is this Porta Pescara, a perfect spot to snap a photo. This is the only gate that still exists out of four that opened up from the city walls. From the molo, or pier on the other side, which we will go to next, you can see the door on the left. This vendor selling fruits and vegetables on top of his truck can be spotted throughout the city at different times. But wait, there's even more picturesque spots. At the molo, or pier, and the old marina, you can get a striking look at the medieval town and the crystal clear waters. In fact, you can stand at the same spot at different parts of the day or month and see a completely different perspective. As you walk towards the marina, there are accesses to more striking vistas, portals, and military gates that were used to keep an eye on the upcoming enemy. Before we head to the cathedral, we stop at Roberto Giacchione's workshop to admire his hand-carved olive pieces. Okay. The construction of the Duomo, or cathedral, began in 1131. According to legends, the building was erected after a vow made to the Holy Savior by the King of Sicily, Roger II, after he escaped from a storm and landed safely on the city's beaches. It is an unusual combination of Romanesque in its massive simple forms and Gothic pointed arches. Inside the church, there are three apses. The plan was to decorate the entire church in mosaics. Roger, in fact, brought to Sicily masters in mosaic workmanship from Constantinople, who used Byzantine decorative art. The work in this church was never finished, but it is one of the oldest examples of Arab Norman works in Sicily. Financial funding later went to build more ornate cathedral in Monreale and a chapel in Palermo. The most striking figure is the bust of Christ Pantocrator, with a hand raised in benediction. 
in his left hand the Gospel of John, in which can be read in Greek and in Latin, I am the light of the world. Who follows me will not wander into darkness, but will have the light of life. The cathedral was partially built with rocks brought from ancient ruins in the area. Parts unused you can still admire today. This marble baptism font dating back to the 12th century is still used today. The two Norman towers are four stories high and recently opened to the public to admire the views of the city below and the inside of the cathedral. The cathedral is in the main piazza where you can enjoy an Aperol Spritz, a cafe, a meal or a cannoli. Piazza Duomo. Piazza Duomo al Cathedral Coffee. This is the best place to stop for a coffee or a gelato, granita and a little bit of sweets. Caffè o cappuccino? No, oggi caffè. Macchiato, grazie. Now for a treat we go inside a bakery shop for a peek at how a cannoli is made especially for us. Hello, Siciliano, con ricotta, vero? Si, si, con ricotta di pecora. Sheep ricotta, the best. And there's some chocolate chips in there too. Put a little bit of powdered sugar and then finish it off. With that, voila. Okay. Are grazie. you enjoying this video? hit the like button, and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Charming Cefalu, a must-see in Sicily. Thanks for watching, and see you on another episode of You Eat and Sicily.